And I would always track your Google Analytics as well. So how much traffic is coming, how much traffic is coming from social, how much traffic, and what they're doing when they're getting there, which pages are they going to. Um, and you can really get an awful lot of information from Google Analytics about what people are doing on your site. And what's very interesting um, on Google Analytics is there is an option to find out the, the ages of the people that are coming to your site. But let me give you an example of how we've used that recently. I'm working with a fitness instructor. Okay, so it's not a charity, but she's a fitness instructor. She's a, um, she has three studios in London. Um, she's a personal trainer, but she's trying to sell an online program, fitness program. And she's using social to get her message out there. And she's very successful at Instagram. She's got like 18,000 followers or something like that on Instagram. She's doing really, really well. But when we looked at her Google Analytics, her plans that she sells are, are quite uh, expensive. They're 240 pounds for her fitness plan online. So certainly targeting an older demographic, probably 40 to 60, because they're the only people that can afford that sort of money on fitness. Yeah. But when we looked at the people that were coming from Instagram, she was getting loads of traffic from Instagram to her Google Analytics, to her website through Google Analytics. So we could see that and it looked like Instagram was being really successful for her. But when we then said, well, what is the age of the people that are coming from Instagram? The people that were coming from Instagram are 18 to 24, um, which just wasn't her target market. So she could put loads of effort into Instagram, get loads of traffic, they were never gonna buy. So she really needed to refocus to Facebook particularly, but also some of the other channels to make sure she got the right traffic, the right age traffic coming through who potentially would then go on to buy. Um, so from a GDPR perspective, you, you could, Google Analytics is a cookie, which is a piece of code that's put on somebody's computer. And um, Google Analytics is, if they, you can turn your cookies off, but Google Analytics is an anonymized, so for, it doesn't contravene GDPR. Um, well, that is the current feeling um, because it's anonymized data. You can't track somebody in, as an individual person from your Google Analytics. Um, so you still can use Google Analytics data. As I said, review the traffic regularly. Um, so Google Analytics is really, really important. You need to um, see well, who comes to your website, what they do when they get there, whether they go into the pages that you want them to go to. Because if they're not going to the pages you want them to go to, it may be that they're hidden in a menu or a sub-menu. Um, so you need to perhaps create a button on the home page which takes some, somebody to that particular page. You can't put everything on the top of the home page, but you need to identify what are the most important things.